It's time to clear some trees. Hello and welcome back to Adventurous Way. I'm Matt. And I'm Diana. And today we're going to be trying to clear the trail, the logging trail on the land, enough that we can get the truck up there. So we've walked up and down this logging trail quite a few times now. And to walk them down, it's fine. Uh, we did try to get the truck up there a few weeks ago, and that didn't go so well. I think we only got about halfway up, and Diana was having to hold branches out of the way as I drove, and yes. it wasn't ideal. So today, we're just going to try and clear back that trail just enough to get the truck up. We're not trying to do a big clearing exercise here. This is just to widen it enough for the truck. Just so that we don't have to park it on the road, and we can park it on the property. Yeah, so we've been uh, collecting the tools we need for this. Uh, it is new tool day here. We have the DeWalt cordless pole saw. Uh, that's going to be doing a lot of the uh, the branch lopping and things for us. We also have uh, some pruning shears. And actually on the way here this morning, there was a yard sale just down the road. We stopped in and they had some long handled pruning shears that we yep. picked up as well. So hopefully those should help. We also have a load of safety gear. So we've got our safety glasses. Uh, we've also got some helmets and things and some good gloves. If uh, we need some a little bit more power than just the pole saw, we also have uh, a brand new DeWalt cordless um, uh, chainsaw. We've got their 16-inch, uh, 60 volt, flex volt uh, chainsaw, and so we also have all of the safety gear for that. We have the chaps, we have chainsaw gloves, uh, we've got the helmets with the the visors and things as well. So we are trying to do this as safely as we can. We haven't done anything like this before, so we've been watching a lot of YouTube yes. videos. We've been reading all the instruction manuals. We've read so many horror stories about uh, using chainsaws and things. So we're going to be taking it really steady, uh, just real careful, just trying to learn as we go. Starting with things that we can cut with pruning shears, and who knows, maybe we'll we'll uh, we'll work up to to trees in the near future. Okay, are you ready? I I think so. Let's go. Give this a go. Ready? Yeah. So easy to cut with this. To be honest, this kind of stuff would probably be better off just with like a string trimmer or brush cutter. But this is the only bit that's kind of like this. Yeah. And we also don't want to cut it back too far. Yeah. Because we are planning to kind of move where this entrance is. So we, we want to make sure it can grow back again fairly soon. Yeah, this is just a short term entrance. Yeah. Let's go deeper. So you're going to think very careful at all times about where yeah. this is. You're going to hold the handle. I'm going to be at the far end. Let me support this for a sec. Yeah. So you want to have one hand somewhere up there. Yeah. You got it? And get right and put it up, right? So this safety. Yeah. You have to pull that bit back. Okay. And then you can press it down. And that has to be held down. Then squeeze that. When you squeeze it, it spins. And you want to have to full speed before you touch anything with it. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. And you want to try and go back. Yeah. Like this one coming out. Hit these off at the, the tree and just try not to be under them when they fall. So I'll do this one first. Yeah, and, and remember you want to use the bit of the blade nearest you. So you can rest, don't let the blade touch, but rest this against the branch. Turn the blade on and then sink it down, kind of thing. So I can use that to rest? Yeah. On. Okay. That's what it's designed for. Gotcha. Yeah, and you can kind of put a little bit of downward pressure on to stop yeah. it jumping like that. Okay. Okay, and you can do the next one. So you can spin it while it's in midair and then lower it into position. It's easy enough to do. There you go, now you got it. Alright. Okay. I'm taking this whole tree out. The camera is right there. Yeah, it looked really good. So it's definitely looking much 
better and uh, should be able to get the truck through this. Now, a thousand more feet of this. It'll look really good when it's done. This safety gear, by the way, I realized that for using like hand pruning shears, this is probably overkill. A, we've got the pole saw and we want to make sure we're safe. B, we want to get into just good habits from day one, just wearing this stuff. Yeah. We've tried to find stuff that's going to be good quality, comfortable, so that we do wear it. Um, but also just like these branches coming down, having the visor, having the goggles on, you don't get anything in your eyes. It just, yeah, it's, so far it's making, it, like it's making life really easy actually. Plus shield from mosquitoes. Yes, we have found quite a few of them up on the property and I think it's probably that pond is probably not helping us. The mosquitoes, we haven't mosquitoes. found ticks yet, but I'm sure no. they're there. Yeah, so at some point getting to that pond and, and trying to like clear that up a bit, maybe even putting like a little solar fountain or a bubbler or something in there just to get the water turning over. I'm trying to avoid using those tablets you can throw in, just don't want to add any more chemicals than we have to, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. But for now, continuing on with the trail clearing. So we cleared a bit now and now it's like 12.30 so I think it's time for lunch. We are now doing the second round with the pole extension, so this is way, way longer. Uh, do one more up just, be just above the one you just did. Yep, that's it. So we cleared brush and uh, low branches for about like halfway through the, um, the trail the, yeah. up to the house side. So uh, we'll call it a day today. Really impressed with this pole saw. We've just put the extension onto the, this, uh, this last pass, uh, but it's still running on the same battery that's been on all day. That's true. <laughs> Our batteries will run out before the pole saw battery. Yeah, no, I'm really impressed. It, Without this, it would have been a real pain trying to do it with a hand, like manual pulse saw or, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, um, definitely makes it quicker. Yeah, safety gear has been working good. Again, although it's probably overkill for what we're doing, um, we had definitely a few branches landing on us and it was just nice to know that yeah. branches wouldn't scrape your yeah. face. And this is how it looks when it's um, kind of cleared out a little bit. So hopefully this is wide enough for our truck to come through. And we haven't done a pass for the chainsaw yet, so there's a few things like yes, like this pile here, this pile here that we want the chainsaw for, um, and a few of the trees where it was just easier to take the whole tree out with the chainsaw to, like tomorrow or whatever than individual branches. But yeah, good progress today. Also, these shears, or what what do you call them? You call them secateurs. Yeah, that's the <laughs> British name, long handled pruning shears or something. Um, I'm glad we. <laughs> Uh, happen up on these on the yard cell. These have been very very helpful. Definitely can cut much bigger branches compared to yeah, a lot these more small leverage. ones. Yeah, and you can reach up higher and reach down lower. And yeah, th these these were mainly just to pick up the things that it wasn't worth pulsing. Yeah, but actually these have been really useful today. Yeah. So after we finish for the day, we need to empty um, the oil. Hmm, that wasn't much. No. Get ready to rumble. Yeah. 
You know the ear mask fold backwards as well, Kilton, too. The what? These. Oh, that's cool. It's the next day, and uh, we are continuing on on clearing the trail. Same tools as yesterday, same approach. Just want to get further up, and then we've been leaving a few bigger trees, by which I mean actually very small trees, but bigger than the ones we've taken out with the, the hand pruners and the pole saw, maybe, I don't know, four or five inches across. We've left those and we'll come back with a chainsaw to get those. And then there's a pile of stuff here that's kind of blocking the trail a little bit. Yeah. We'll use the chainsaw to clear that later on today. How is it? It's good. I mean, after a while it gets really heavy, but otherwise it's good. <laughs> So we have finished clearing with the first pass with the shears and the pole saw. Uh, a little bit past the house side where it would be possible to turn around with the truck. So I guess now it's time for a chainsaw. Yeah, there's just one or two, uh, not big trees, um, but bigger than I wanted to kind of do with the pole saw. And also just as trial trees to test the chainsaw on. So we'll come back up, we'll do a pass with the, the chainsaw, um, but are otherwise... We, are we good on pole saw extension? Were there any tall ones? I think we're fine for that, I don't think. So yeah. I don't think we need that. We'll take it out, we'll have it in the truck anyway. And we'll just drive the truck up, chainsawing as we go, maybe? Mm, maybe. No, <laughs> no. Let's first chainsaw. <laughs> and then we'll okay, deal. drive the truck when it's finished. <laughs> so for oiling the chainsaw and the pole saw, we're using this steel uh, biogradable vegetable oil. Um, so we put it in before we use it, and then after we finish using it, then we have to pour the oil back out of the device. And what else have we got to go with the chainsaw? Uh, we have chaps. Um, these are heavier than we thought they would be, so I guess that's good, extra protection. And these are the ones that uh, wrap around in the back as well. And we also have chainsaw gloves. And as we understand how they work is that they have fibers of Kevlar in them. And then as soon as the chainsaw hits that, they get stuck into the chainsaw and stop the chainsaw running. You should really check out some other YouTube videos of like people testing the uh, chainsaw chops. It's very impressive and very effective. Yeah, and some people thought that they don't work very well on electric chainsaws. People have tested, what, what's the channel? Um, with the Morgans, they, they did a test yeah. and they proved that it will be absolutely fine. So yeah. <laughs> obviously we don't want to hit our legs with a chainsaw, yeah. um, but should the worst happen, these are kind of our last line of defense. And also there is a difference between electric chainsaws and battery powered chainsaws because the battery powered chainsaws generally are less powerful. Yeah. So. Cool. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. So Matt is kitted out and uh, we're ready to go. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> This thing is a beast. <laughs> it's also a way louder than Sorry? the other one.
we finished clearing yep. uh, the road all the way up where the truck would be able to turn around. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good for a day and a half of work. Yeah, it was hard work today and I'm sure I'm making it harder than it needs to be just because I'm new to this. I've never done this before. First time using a chainsaw. So what's the um, first impression? From I, I like it. I, um, for someone who's not used to this, it's, it's still fairly heavy and it's one of the lighter chainsaws out there. I'm really impressed with its cutting power. Um, I was really trying to keep it out of the dirt and looking at it, the, the chain still seems pretty sharp. The battery just died. This is one of the six amp hour batteries. Um, so this is one of the ones that came with it. Um, and so we've got three of those. We bought two extras as well. That's what we've been using in the pole saw. I mean, that was probably what, an hour or so of using it. Yeah. Um, Something like that. Maybe even longer than that. And we've got three of those batteries. So we have a charger that can charge one of those batteries in one hour. So, hey, I mean, like with this, we go and put that battery on charge, grab the next one. So we can continue this uh, indefinitely. Um, yep. So it was. It didn't last as long as I expected to, but I'm not disappointed because I yep. know that we can keep going. So. Yep. Yeah, but the Pulsar battery lasted all day yesterday and for everything that we did today. Yeah, we charged it last night. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we haven't killed the battery in the, in the pole saw yet. Yeah. Um, this one is the first time we've uh, completely emptied one of the batteries. So yeah. no, overall really impressed with this. I'm glad we went with the the cordless battery powered uh, chainsaw rather than a gas one. Mm -hmm. That would have just been heavier, more cumbersome, a lot noisier. Trying to find um, the fuel for it. Yeah, I mean, just just in general, this is pretty like low maintenance, pretty pretty easy. We'll drain the oil out if there's any left when we get down to the bottom. I'll give it a bit of a clean out um, and that's it really. Yeah. Um, so that's that's pretty simple. I, I'm impressed so far. So this concludes our first project on our land and there's going to be a lot more to come. Although uh, next, I think we'll be blocked on various permits and getting people out and kind of getting the ball rolling. Um, but we can still work on trails and things like that. Yeah, for sure. So thanks for watching. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. I tell you, walking up there yesterday or walking back down yesterday afternoon, it felt really wide and spacious. It felt like we'd cleared a whole load of trees and then you drive up here and you're like, it's still really narrow. <laughs> but still, this time we made it without keeping away any branches or anything like that. For sure, so for sure. It's definitely clearing definitely helped yeah and i think it just really shows when we put the driveway in we're just going to have to think about the grade um like overall the slope of the land is fine but the land has like this terrace almost so there's steeper sections and flatter sections so we just have to think about that as we do the driveway so that it never gets too steep how was driving that steeper section i mean it was fine but it felt steep mm -hmm. i mean i i had it in four wheel low mainly just because I was driving at walking pace. Would you um, tow our trailer up there? Would I? <laughs> you would do it, but whether I would approve of it. Sh should I tow the, the trailer up there? No, I absolutely shouldn't. Um, and no, I, I don't think I would. Um, I think if we cleared some more branches, we probably could, um, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, well, I, I have no doubts that once we've got the driveway in, it'll be fine. Yeah. Because yeah. at that point, I think we'll be, it'll be wider and it'll be clearer and there'll not be these little steep sections and it obviously won't be on wet leaves and everything else. But yeah, I mean, that, that is that is progress. That is compared to how it was before when even in four wheel low, you were there having to like hold all of the branches back and, and things were still scratching the truck. And we only got halfway up before we kind of decided abort, abort. <laughs> 